All right. Okay. And now you are in a relationship and it appears you and your partner most times your ideas do not align to each other. Maybe most times your partner thinks A and the other person thinks B. And most times you people do not come together to agree on a common purpose. So in this video, I'm going to discuss um, the synergy in a relationship. How important is a synergistic relationship? And if you are not in a synergistic relationship, how are you going to achieve synergy in a relationship? That's what I'm going to discuss in this short video. But please, don't forget to like, comment and share. And most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like I said, imagine two relationships. Just imagine two relationships. In the first one, the two partners love and appreciate each other. But their goals, passion, and priorities do not align. There is always a point of divergence instead of convergence. They do not meet. It's a two parallel poles. So when they move, they go this way. They do not come this way. So why is it so? So in the second relationship, the partners work together in perfect harmony. So one partner's strengths complement the other's weakness. That's what Sinead does. And together they achieve more than they ever could individually. And that is the major reason why synergy is good. A synergistic relationship is good. Now, a synergistic relationship is like a well-coordinated sport team. Just like when you see Liverpool playing in a team and then they could score my you 7-0. So a well-coordinated team, football team. So where each partner plays to their strength and then contribute their unique skill towards achieving a common goal. You mustn't score. You mustn't be the one to score. So the other person can better score if he's in a better position to score. That is what synergy does in a relationship. But what does synergistic mean? And is synergy really crucial for a successful relationship? Again, how can you achieve it and ensure it stays? So this is what I'm going to discuss in this. So, synergy is like a mystical force. It's like a mystical force. It's the magic that happens when any two things come together to create something greater than their separate effects. There are countless examples of synergy in life. Take a musical orchestra. We see violin play, and then guitar, band, and so on. That is synergy. And then a sound more beautiful than the individual effect of those instruments. When this instrument comes together to play, when it combines together, tambourine, guitar, band, violin, and all of them, when they play together, then you see the type of melody that comes out from it. That is synergy. Though each individual musician can play their respective instrument beautifully, they can produce the same hair-raising effect as an orchestra. However, it makes more sense and more meaning when these two come together, synergized, and produce a perfect harmony. That is what it means in a relationship. So, what then is a synergistic relationship? A synergy is the concept of two partners working together to create a greater whole. Working together to create a greater whole. Let's say a business partner, something that you ought to have done alone. When you bring in your partner, you see your partner may have a wonderful idea that you two do not have. And then you create a perfect business. So try to understand the concept. Now there are five signs of a synergistic relationship. One, clear and effortless communication. Partners in a synergistic relationship have an unspoken understanding of each other's thought. They already understand their body language, so needs and emotion. They communicate effortlessly and effectively, leaving nothing unsaid because they already understand their body language. Second, shared dreams and goals. 
this person has common goals, they share it together. These are signs of synergistic relationship. Third, mutual respect and trust. This one, you do not have to beg your partner to respect you or to trust you. Because both of you have a common goal and understand each other. There is always this mutual respect and goal at the end, at the turning. Fourth, active support and encouragement. Partners in a synergistic relationship actively support and encourage each other. Because you share this common goal. And that is why you need this support. But when you don't share, when you don't open up in your relationship, how will your partner support you? And that is why it is good to have this synergy in a relationship. A sense of unity. So a partner in a synergistic relationship feel like a united front. So they support each other in every aspect of life and work as a team, just as they do in a football team. So they understand that their individual strength and weakness complement each other and make them stronger as a couple. Whether as a boyfriend or girlfriend, so long as they're in a relationship, you need this synergy. These are the examples of synergy. One, you have business partnership. So when two companies come together to stand as one, they will better improve better. That is how it happens in a relationship. Sports team, like a football team, as I have said, ecosystem, social relationship, inhuman relationship, synergy can occur when two people work together to achieve a common goal. For example, a married couple might work together to build a successful business or raise a family. It's normal. Like when your boyfriend doesn't have enough and you as a girl has enough, if you want to build a perfect business or if you want even to build an edifice, a living house, you can work together with your partner. And that is the synergy we're talking about. These are the five reasons why a synergistic relationship is superior. When we look at the synergistic couples, like the ones mentioned, like the one I talked about, we think that that's the kind of relationship we all want to be in. But why do relationship or why does synergistic relationship appear superior to non synergistic relationship? One, greater happiness and fulfillment. Because both of you have common purpose, common ideas, common ambition, greater happiness and purpose. Two, more effective problem solving. Because you, you and your partner discuss as one, and both of you do things as one. So when there is any problem, both of you can come up with solution to solve the problem. Three, greater success in life. Because where, whereof one do not speak, when you do not speak out of your, your mind what is happening, what is bothering you, how will your other person or your partner get to know that you have some challenges? Greater success in life. Four, increase resilience. Like you've done it often and on and it seems not working. But when you share it with your partner, your partner may encourage you. And then you keep on moving and keep on pushing. And that is why you will never fall. That's why synergistic relationship experience. Fifth one, a more fun and adventurous life. When both of you have same common purpose, common ideas, common goal to achieve, and both of you discuss it together, you can see both of you moves in a smooth plane, and you always have a convergent idea, a meeting point, and not moving this way. This is why a synergistic relationship is important. Partners in a synergistic relationship trust and respect each other, which creates a comfortable and safe environment to take on new adventures and risk. But if you are not in a synergistic relationship, how will this thing work? Glory be to God. We have some ways, this is my own opinion, but I think it works. How to achieve synergy in a relationship. I'm going to just itemize it. One, practice open communication. Practice open communication. Cultivate the energy to cultivate, to speak to your partner. Do not shy away from speaking your mind to your partner. Third, second, find common ground. Don't always find things that will separate both of you. 
find come on, find those things that unite you and your partner and then always doing it always doing them it helps third support each other's individual sources even when he or she has not told you find a way to support him or her that is how a perfect relationship works and that is how a synergistic relationship works and this is how you are going to achieve synergy in your relationship trust and respect each other fourth trust and in a relationship there can be no synergy without mutual trust and respect so show your partner that trust and respect by being honest reliable and supportive fifth one be open to change yes it has been this way and now it has been it, it's this way accept it it's no more nothing has changed that's to your partner so be open to change if anything comes up in a relationship accept it that way that is the god's way that is nature remember change is constant in life sixth one seek professional help when you think things are not working right way you've been struggling trying to make this work in your relationship and then it appears that it's not working seek professional seek therapist do not try maybe you can solve it alone and die in silence silence is not the best way sometimes the english people will say silence is the best answer to a fool no your partner might not be a fool but rather you that has kept silent. Always open up. Seek help from professionals. Now, these are the frequently asked questions about synergistic relationship. Some signs of synergistic relationship include clear and effective communication, shared goals and values, and sense of unity. How long shall you continue in that relationship that it's not working that you don't open up to your partner the time is now start to open up to your partner encourage your partner walk along with your partner and make things happen again in your relationship and please don't forget to like comment and share thank you